This video is going to show you how to make a coil or maybe a threaded screw using Animator. So to get started, we're going to check some grid settings. So let's start with options, grid. Most of these are fine. We're going to change spacing to fixed. Show grid, that's good. We're going to enable snap to grid and we're going to have that set to, uh, let's set it to 10. I'm going to click OK. All right, you can notice in the background there is a faint grid. Or you should see a faint grid. I'm going to count seven spaces over, or seven uh, little squares over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And right here is where I'm going to, I'm going to start making my uh, uh, square. So click right here. We're going to go uh, up two squares. Oh, I'm going to let go, click again, go over to, go down to, and go to the right to. Okay? So you should uh, have a square over here, and there should be, in the background, you should see four squares within the square. So that's the size of it. All right. Uh, I'm going to double check here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oops. I need to move mine over one. So... There we go. So now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you should see seven squares over here. All right. We have the placement. So now I'm going to use the lathe tool. And we're going to make a ring. Build. Lathe. And we want 20 sections. Y axis. Then open, open. Click OK. And this is what we should see. All right. Uh, in this view, I'm going to turn turn arc rotate off. Click the line tool back on because I'm going to get rid of the spline. So I selected it. I'm going to press delete, and it's gone. Let's go to the top view. So this ring doesn't fit on the screen. It doesn't fit on the workspace. So we're going to change that. Click on the eye. Use this tool, and I'm going to click and drag and make it so it fits on the screen. So this is going to be very important for the next couple steps. All right, we're also going to take it off smooth shaded view and put it on wireframe view. And now go to the point edit mode, so this way we can edit and delete these individual points. So we're going to start off by using drag select. Click somewhere up here drag down to about here because you want to have all these selected so when you press delete on the keyboard you now have half of a ring alright so we're gonna slowly start curving this ring uh, to do that we're gonna move sections at a time so uh, I think I'm also gonna change some grid settings here so let's go to uh, uh, options, grid. I'm going to keep everything the same except for under snap to grid. I'm going to make that two. And that should make things a little, a little easier. So drag select should still be on. And you'll notice my drag select looks a little bit goofy. I'm on a Windows 8 computer and it's not like in the animator software that much. So it still works. It just Kind of adds a bunch of white lines. I'm sure you noticed it the first time I, that I used it. So I'm going to click, drag, and there's those white lines. I'm going to select as much as I can without getting these ones. Okay? So notice I miss these ones, and I want you to use drag select to get those again. But you can't just left click and drag select. If you're adding to uh, the selection, you want to right click and drag select. So then it adds these to the original selection. Okay, so we have all these points selected except for this group right here. There's actually four right here, because there's two right here, one's underneath of it, and uh, there's two right here, the one, there's one you know, underneath or behind this one. So with those selected, we're going to change from top view to front view. And go to the move tool, and since we have snap to grid on, it's going to move uh, two, two 
snaps up basically. So if I click on the line, it snapped right up. Okay. If it didn't snap right up, you're going to want to go to Options, Grid, and Enable Snap to Grid. Okay. So there we go. We have it moved a little bit. So now we're going to go back to the top view and use drag select again. Select all except these ones now. So I'm going to use right click, drag select these. So if you notice, each time we're going to do less and less. So this is how we're slowly going to get the curve of the coil. So we have all these ones selected now. Go to front move tool snaps it up if at any time you mess up like for instance if you forget to use the move tool uh, and you do something else instead you can use the undo tool to go backwards one and that will fix the problem alright so we just move those we're gonna go back to top view and use drag select again so now we're gonna do all of them except for these ones so click up here this time I can get them all in with one shot. And I'll go back to front move tool. Snaps up. It starts getting One last selection. Okay, let's see how it looks. So here is our coil so far. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the front view, turn off arc rotate. All right, we have a half of a thread basically. So I'm going to go to uh, object edit mode. I'm going to select the full object. And we're going to go to copy, paste. And I just paste the second one over top. You can't see it right now, but it's there. So if, if we go to edit, rotate, and if we rotate the selected one, uh, let's, let's do custom rotate. Custom rotate. And there's a bunch of choices here. We're going to choose the Y axis and we're going to do 180 and this should take care of it. All right, so it rotated one of them, the second one we made, or the one we copied, I should say. And there it is. Now all you need to do is move it in the right spot. So you could move it by hand if you want to. But I think an, uh, an easier way is go to Options, Grid. Let's change the spacing to 10 again. Click OK. So now when we go to the Move tool, you can easily move it down. OK. And you now have a coil. Okay. All right, now we're back in the front view, uh, and arc rotates off. We're going to select both of these sections. We're going to go to build, and let's go. We're going to group them, so it makes them one. So now what you can do is the same thing we did before, kind of. We can copy and paste. So edit, copy edit, paste, and made a second one. Now you can use the move tool and move it down. And you can see how very quickly you can get a large coil. 